The U.S. Supreme Court case on teachers' union dues. The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to hear Friedrich's case. If she prevails, all state, local and federal employees might no longer be compelled to pay money to unions. Such payments would be volunteer. The dispute does not affect private sector unions because only the government is required to abide by the First Amendment. But what about the private sector under the Railway Labor Act? Private unions under the Railway Labor Act force the employees to pay union dues or offices fees. And if you don't pay, you lose your job. You have not choice. The Railway Labor Act is a United States federal law that governs labor relations in the railroad and airline industries. The Act, passed in 1926 and amended in 1934 and 1936, seeks to substitute bargaining, arbitration and mediation for strikes as a means of resolving labor disputes. For example, in the public sector, unions negotiate pension benefits, employee pay and staffing in state facilities. Those are also some of the biggest political issues facing state government. In the private sector union negotiate what to take away from the employee to give back to the company in exchange to. Pen is a salary raise. No benefits are offered to the employees, no pension check. Why should you be forced to pay our union workers if you are not getting anything in exchange? The Transport Workers Union sold our contract and, to ensure nothing could be done against the company, Envoy Air, the once before called American Eagle Airlines. They added on the union contract, Article 26, no strike, no lockout. A. It is the intent of the parties to this agreement that the procedures set forth herein and in the Railway Labor Act, as amended, for the resolution of disputes will serve as a means of peaceable settlement of all disputes that may arise between them and that, therefore, 1. The company will neither cause nor permit any lockout of employees covered hereunder during the life of this agreement, and, 2. Neither the union nor the employees covered hereunder, both individually and collectively, will authorize, cause, sanction, or engage in any strike or job action against the company, illegal picketing of the company's premises, slowdown, sit-down, walkout, work stoppage, or curtailment of work of any kind, during the life of this agreement, and this agreement continues in effect until a new contract has been agreed, signed and started. Public sector and private sector should not be forced to pay union dues or offices fees. No citizen should be forced to union dues. Why pay to have the right to work? Is the United States communist? Forcing the citizens to pay corrupt organizations like the Transport Workers Union Local 575? We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.